Hey y'all, in case you hadn't heard, I'm living in Canada, Toronto. Um, no, it's not so cold in my apartment that I have to wear this, but this is just so high styling up here, I figured I'd show it off. Look, it's, it's very important for this little dingleberry to be hanging off the top here. I actually bought this at a cool little shop that was next door to the Obama headquarters in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania where I spent the last four days of that campaign. That was a thrill. Uh, but anyway, this is made in Nepal. I just wanted to show it off to you. And uh, so my new hairdo, it got cut really short because I went to this place where it turned out that this woman didn't speak a word of English and it just kept getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And I thought, oh, well, I guess it's time for me to have kind of short hair. Uh, but it doesn't matter because we're always wearing these things anyway. So, um, what I want to do is show you some pictures of my last year. Another bad girl managed to infiltrate the system by graduating with a bachelor's from the University of Arizona. Um, that went so well that I applied to some graduate programs, which explains the mess I'm in now. My sister Jenny finally tied the knot with the lovely and talented Barry Breen. This was in July and the very next day my father, Larry Cowell, actually went into the last stages of passing from this world and here are a few shots from the, uh, the hospice and I hope you notice that though it was a sad and intense time it was not morose. We actually had some real warm humorous family time here with my dad and he even got a visit from a real live blind hawk who was brought in by a friend of my sister's. His name is Spirit. Strangely enough, I don't have any pictures of him on my computer so there he is out at the riverbed. Lovely man. Lovely man. So, of course, being in complete denial about how much grief I was going through, I sold almost everything I owned and moved to Canada. So here are a few shots of uh, the ravine behind the first apartment that Stella and I stayed in, in North York. The University of Toronto uh, political theory program is really top-notch, and I got to study this last semester with Richard Eiten, and Jennifer Nadelsky. Um, and what's even more important than the quality of the program is how pretty the buildings are. So I'm going to show you some of those, okay? Put on your Harry Potter robes. So the University of Toronto is on the college system, sort of like Oxford. Uh, this is Trinity College that we're looking at right now. Um, here's a little griffin from University College. And back over at Trinity College, uh, there was a book sale. They all have their book sales. And again at Trinity, here's a view of the room where they eat. I think you can see the sorting hat in the back there. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's the Led Zeppelin building. So of course, one of the biggest and most important and uh, phenomenal events of all of our lives happened a couple of months ago. These are handmade ceramic Obama buttons made by women in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. Isn't that beautiful? They're hand painted. I think they well, found some way to make stamps with these, but they're actually also hand painted. I mean, you know, was anybody doing that for John McCain? Oh my god, so much love. So much love. So I just took a few shots. This is uh, one of our volunteers in Edinburgh. Uh, this is Union City and uh, this doorway was especially interesting to me um, considering that I'm living in Canada now. You know the God Bless America stickers are they stand out a little more. So that's about all the news there is. I don't want to waste too much of your time here um, but I'll show you a few more pictures of Stella's in my life. Oh, you might be wondering about music. Um, I've played out at a few jams, a few open mics, and I've jammed with some guys that, uh, that live in my neighborhood. But I am writing a lot, a lot of more happy songs for some reason. 
So hopefully um, that'll be out in the world pretty soon. Maybe I'll come down and grab some of you and pull you into a recording studio sometime soon. All right, so here's some more pictures. So Toronto has wonderful public libraries. This is the one downtown, the main library, from the fourth floor. Here's an art installation and an art walk that I went to one time. This is a stack of books. That's my friend Dina saying, don't take my picture. Um, here's some political activism on our behalf. Thank you very much, Canada. Um, coming up is the fruit market I go to all the time. They're a little closed right now, though. And this is Stella's favorite Zen pose. It's called Stare Intently at Squirrel. Here's some fall colors that my camera phone completely didn't do justice to. This area was just golden fire with leaves. Yay, happy fall. Okay, and then here are some views from my back window. And my back door. And my casita. And then this is the area where we walk every single day. Yes, it's beautiful. And there's some sumac. Yeah, this is kind of what it looks like every day. So there's your Christmas card from Canada. Happy holidays. I love you all. I miss you all. Thought you might like to see my face and hear my voice because I'd sure like to see your faces and hear your voices. I hope I get too soon. All right. Until we talk again. Peace out. So here I just wanted to toast you with some chicken milk, otherwise known as eggnog. Cheers. Oh, oh, oh.